Welcome to Italian Conti Virtual, an online training resource for the performing arts. Have a good class. For our warm up sequence and our roll down, we're going to start in parallel directly underneath the hips. So making sure it's not too wide, making sure the spine is nice and long, already lifting the lower belly button to um, feel the core engaged. We're going to breathe in, soften the knees. Breathing in, one, two, and then an upper back curve, top of the head for the demi plie, three, four. Repeat that, five, six, without a plie, seven, eight. Then the top of the head is just going to take you down for four counts, all the way down until your hands meet the floor. You're going to plie down on five. You're going to twist the knees round to the right so you've got that lower back spiral going on. Placing the bottom down, rolling through the spine, hands behind the head. And what we're going to do is take four crunches, lifting your shoulders off each time. Two, three, already starting to engage the core. Four. You've got four counts to roll up. Top of the head leads you and your legs are going to lengthen. So make sure the sitting bones are nice and long, connected to the floor, long spine. Make sure there's space between the earlobes and the shoulders. We're then going to snake towards the right side and you're going to push up into a nice cobra stretch, making sure the shoulders are pulled down, the hips are nice and open. Tuck the toes under and find um, downward dog. Let's take this stretch for four counts. Really feeling the backs of the legs, one, two, three, four. You can soften that left knee to push the right leg back. So we can really lengthen out the right quad um, and really push into that hip. Enjoy this nice hip flexor stretch, lengthening the right quad. And then we've got a hamstring stretch for six counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. You plie seven, coming in eight. Then we're going to repeat on the left side. So you're breathing in for two and curve out for two. And up for two without a plie for two. Down for four. One, two, three, four. Plie for five. This time twist the knees to the left. Six. Place yourself down. Seven. Eight. Four crunches. One and two. And three, shoulders off each time, four. Four counts to roll up through the spine, lengthen the legs, two, three, four. Snaking towards the left this time again, finding the hips, shoulders pulling down the back, tuck the toes under, four counts, one, two, three, four. Soft in the legs, lengthen that left leg back, one, two, three, four. Hamstring stretch for six counts, one, two, three, four, five, six, plie, seven in eight then you can repeat it again right and left breathing in and breathing out filling up the body with um, loads of breath okay ready in for one two down one two breathing in for two without a plie for two down for four heavy head three four plie five twist six roll down for two Four, one, and two. That's right, keep scooping the lower belly in. Four, four counts up, long spine. Three, four, snake for four. Two, three, four, good. Heels down into the floor, long spine. Right leg back, one, two, three, good. Two, three, four, five, six, in seven, and breathing in. For two and up, for two and in, for two and up, for two. Heavy head, two, three, four. Soft legs and twist, down for two. Keep scooping and engaging the core. Shoulders pulled down the back. Good, long spine for four, one, two. Long legs, snake, one. Shoulders down, heels down for four, two. Three, four, left leg back, long hip, nice, good. Two, three, four, five, six, soft legs rolling up through the spine to finish. Good. 
So let's get the back nice and warm um, with some shoulder rolls and some tilts. So starting off with the right shoulder, we've got one, two with the elbow, three, four, big circle, five, six. You're gonna take that into a middle back curve with a demi plie, seven. We're gonna open eight. We've got a tilt, one, two, center three, four. This time repeat it, but with a plie. Here, five, six. Make sure the knees are over the toes there and we've got no funny alignment going on. So you're with a plie. We're curving over, rolling up through the spine. Make sure your hips are still facing the front. You're just twisting from the lower base of the spine to open back to center. Yeah. From there, we've got tabletop. You've got four counts into your tabletop. I want you to breathe in before you go up and over. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're finding our flat back here. You should think top of the head towards the front and you need to be lifting your belly button up towards the spine so we're really engaged and we're not sat back in our heels. Our weight is forwards. You've got a nice swing so we can relax here. Swing to find fifth. Keep the shoulders down here. You're then gonna hang from the ceiling. You're gonna pull through that right arm, taking the head with you. You're gonna drop one, drop two, and then pull yourself up three, four, pushing the space down. So I actually wanna see tension through the arms there. It's like you're pushing through fog or something and connect the lats to the back five six seven eight and then we do it all on the left one two three four five six middle back curve so belly button engaged into your spine seven open eight take the tilt one two center three four with a plie again make sure you don't knock the knees make sure you stay knees over the toes here to curve through, keep that right hip pulled back, rolling up through the spine, sh left shoulder down, back to centre. You're coming up and over for four, back to the legs working now. One, two, three, four. You swing five, six, up seven, eight. Left arm drops, one, drop two, three, four. Connect your core to your lats, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to squeeze to first. We're going to start finding our rotators now, backs of the legs working. We do it all in first position, so we're finding our plie in first. All of this, obviously, is in turnout now. Yeah? Okay, let's give it a go. and curve and tilt with a plie up and over for four and swing and up drop one two three four push the space down left one two three middle back curve and tilt with a plie knees over the toes up and over back to the legs working swing and up drop relax the neck Good, squeeze to first, and one. Long front of the hips, and curve, tilt, good. Pelvis underneath, up and over, back to the legs, working in a thigh squeezing, and relax the head, good. Good, last time, one, two, three, curve, and over, good. Up and over in a thigh squeezing, Push, good, long front of the hips, nice, good. We're now gonna work on our foot sequence, get the ankles nice and warm, which will then take us into our more complex foot sequence. So starting with some tondus first. Um, we've got a peel of the foot, make sure the knee is over the toes. One, two, with a plie, three, four. We're gonna peel the foot out using the floor pressure peel to just place it forward so we're transferring our weight making sure the hips are still even take your arms through second we've got a flex 
base of that front foot. At the same time, let's take an arch, be generous with the chest on the ceiling to place it back. From there, we've got two taps with a plie. Again, make sure the hips are nice and even. Tap, tap, scoop to lengthen that leg. Really think of the back of the leg lengthening nice and long. As you straighten the leg, the tondu comes to the side. Keep it in parallel, turned in. Bring it in. You've got ankle, knee, ankle, down. And I want you to think about lengthening in that supporting hip so that we don't get any wobbly hips. So we're already finding our balance. So let's try the left side. You're going one, two, plie, three, four, transfer the weight, five, six, arch seven, down eight. You've got two taps on the fondue, one, two. Scoop to lengthen it out. I'm thinking of the back of the leg really lengthening there. Again, pull up on that supporting side. Connect, lengthening the leg as you straighten. So you're pulling in, ankle, knee, ankle down. Squeeze to turn out. So we're finding our turnout muscles for the first time in class today. Finding a lot of space in the hips as much as you can, especially in the front. Lifting the belly button, we're gonna do it all in turnout. So everything is exactly the same. When we place it down, we're finding that nice turned out fourth position. When you flex, it still stays turned out. Everything exactly the same. And when we're finding our retire, keep it nice and high, turned out, lengthen that supporting hip bring it down and then on the left side. So we'd go one, two, three, four. This would place turned out five, six, keep the turn up, seven, eight. We've got tap one, two, be generous with that leg, three, four, straighten five in six, ankle knee, ankle down. One, two and three, four, five, six, arch seven, eight. Tap, one, two, through three, four. Lengthen the leg, five in, six. Ankle, knee, ankle down. Try and keep that retire nice and high and turned out. Again, pulling up in that supporting hip. That's it, good, ribs connected. Okay. Okay, nice long spine. Lifting out, long front of the hips. Here we go, and one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and tap. Three, four, lengthen, and ankle, knee, ankle, and one. Good. Keep lengthening the legs away from you. Nice, into first. Good, backs of the legs, inner thighs. Good, keep finding that supporting hip. Okay, so we've got our progression from the foot sequence that we've just done. So it starts on a diagonal this time. We're doing exactly the same thing at the beginning. So peeling one, two with the plie, three, four, peel to place it down, five, six, arch, seven, eight. This is where it changes. Now we're gonna scoop that right foot back I'm thinking of the pelvis leading and initiating that movement. I'm scooping that leg back, I'm pushing back in those hips, left leg plies, and it's going through parallel to turn it out through a high retire to find that nice long lunge. So we start to use the legs, fingertips, and focus towards the left corner. Now I'm shifting through to find my contraction. Make sure your shoulders aren't too far forwards here. We're thinking of contracting, scooping that belly button to the back of the spine, almost like you're sitting on a chair. Now from there, you're wandering on the leg. And I want you to think of a nice long circle in the toes. The arms are gonna circle all the way round, come through the center to find your first position. Then you're gonna peel through the foot, because it is a foot sequence. You're going one, two, three. I'm shifting forwards this way. Come through the center to then tilt to the side. Yeah, yeah. So 
Really testing your balance, coming forwards, back to centre with the arms, to tilt. You've got a little jump and through. So that's only small, so you're bringing your body back up through centre to then find third with the arms. From there, you're going to wander on the left leg, opposite arm to find a fourth. And it's up to you, single or double pirouette here, just to find your balance to land in parallel to cheat it. Then we go on the left side. Counts are one, two, three, four, peel five, six, arch seven, eight. Now this is almost a swing motion, so you've just got to go for it. I'm swinging that way to scoop it in. You can let your torso go with it to here. Three, four, you're stepping five, six, contract seven, eight. This is one, close two, three and four. You're shifting forwards, five, centre six, side seven, eight. You're going to jump one, two, take the opposite arm leg, three, four. Again, it's important you find your spotting position here and you have that moment of calm, finding your fourth, making sure your hips are even into your single or double pirouette to land in parallel. Yep. Ready? Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Scooping one, two, three, four. Round, contract, seven, and one, in two, three, and four, four to five. Let's do some side winders to warm up the hips. So we're going to start in a nice wide second position. So make sure it's not a, a classical second. I'd like it a little bit further out. Making sure your pelvis is definitely underneath yourself. Again, I'm already lifting my lower abdominals to make sure they're connected so I'm not relying on my legs too much. Arms are connected to the back in seconds. So we're trying to fill out the space nice and wide. So your first set is going towards the right leg. One, two, three, four. I'm pushing through back to center. One, two, three, four. Left leg. One, two, three, four. Back to center. One, two, three, four. Right leg. One, two, three, four. This time you're going to go through second, finding that turnout, really rotating. Through to the left, one, two, three, four, back to centre, one, two, three, four. You do that all on the left. You've got left leg, one, two, three, four, centre, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, centre, left side, through to second. Again, finding those rotators all the way round and up. Again, always using your abdominals. From there, second set goes. So we've got four counts into that same lunge. One, two, three, four. I'm reaching out through the fingertips, creating that long diagonal line. I'm then gonna connect, curving over for four counts. Make sure I'm turning out in my plie to roll up for four counts. Head is the last thing to then go on the left side. Two, three, Four, reach, two, three, four, curve, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four. And then if you're ready to take a third set, we're reaching over both arms for eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna roll that left hip down for eight counts. Finding this nice parallel position, long, out, energy out of the top of the head and the fingertips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're then going to lift that back leg for eight counts. That's right, energy out of the fingertips. You're then bringing that knee into your chest. Good. For eight counts, then you're lengthening it away for that nice long tabletop position. 
Great, and then your left fingertips are gonna take over, making a nice big circle at the same time. Finding your high retiro, finding space in that hip. Lovely, keeping those ribs closed, energy out of the fingertips for eight counts, and then lengthen down for four counts, really going through that leg, finding first, to then degage through to second. And then we do it on the left side, so you've got eight counts to find that diagonal position, eight counts to roll in. Eight counts, I'd like you to stay on that plie, you're just lengthening that leg, make sure that right hip is rolling in. And then right knee to chest for eight counts, lengthen out for eight counts. Good, right fingertips take over, right inner thigh is pulling up, that's it. Use your left hip to find your balance, exactly. And then through the leg, four counts, degage, seven, eight. That's your three sets of side winders. Okay, so arms connected to the back, pulling down those lats, lengthening out through the fingertips, long front of the hips. Be careful not to pitch forward. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, centre. Good. So really trying to find space in the hips, rotating, using the backs of the legs. Lovely, good. Push. Use your belly button to keep lifting you. And centre. Oh, energy out of the fingertips. Keep the arms alive. Through to second. Good. Now we're going into second set on four counts. One, two, three, four. Reach for four. And first for four. Rolling up. Keep breathing. One, two, three, four. Energy out the fingertips. Good. Keep it fluid. Third set on eight counts. Two, four, five. Arms come up to the diagonal. Twisting for eight. Good. Find that supporting leg. Lifting for eight, hold for eight, good, bring that left knee in, good, staying on a plie, lengthen it out, now lengthen the left fingertips, find your retire, use your arms as an anchor, down the leg, and the pleasure, second set, reach for eight, energy out of the fingertips, keep breathing, roll that right hip down, now, energy out of the top of the head, strong supporting leg. We're going to hold it for eight. Keep that right hip rolled in. Good. And then out for eight. Great. Big circle with the right fingertips. Use your left arm as the anchor. Down. Find that second clean finish. Good. We're now moving on to um, our swing exercise. So we can afford to relax a little bit more, um, get more movement in the torso. We're starting again in our parallel. Um, starting with the right knee bending, we're gonna carve through the space with the right arm, relaxing the head. We've got carving through one. I'm gonna go the other way, scoop two. Again, three. You've got a big circle with the fingertips, four. You're getting there on five. So I've got a nice spiral in the torso. Keep your hips facing the front. I'm here on five. I'm curving six. Rolling up through the spine, seven, to get to center on eight. Now from there, your fingertips are gonna carve through the space. Your right fingertips are gonna lead you towards the diagonal. So they're gonna take over this way. And you're gonna take a little step forward that way. Your left fingertips then take over this way to turn you to face that diagonal. So really send the fingertips up to then relax. You're gonna shift through on your left. You can relax in those hips. You've got a swing, swing. Now I'm turning with a tilt this way. So I'm thinking of a right angle position with that foot on a releve but my torso is just tilting towards that supporting leg. Yep, exactly. So we're tilting over that supporting leg. We're finding this right angle shape and I'm taking the body all the way over here on a releve. We've got step, step, 
brushing through first to find a nice high leg as high as you want towards the front to shift the weight all the way over to then take one through to second to then do a double bounce into a scoop. I'm gonna scoop you this way to find a nice open fourth. Lovely, so you can just really open out the hips, find the rotation in that back leg especially. Now, you're just going through this fourth, you're not gonna stay in it. I'm going through it to pull back and I'm sending the fingertips that way and it's a nice long leg. Yeah, so you send the energy out of the toes, taking that arm over, it's an a fondue. And then you're gonna find your balance this way. And you can either stay on a parallel or if you're feeling up on that left supporting hip, you can find your balance here, just the angle, ankle to then lower, to do it on the left. So, left side, we start with the left knee. We've got carving the space, one, two, three. You've got a big circle all the way round to find that spiral. You've got a curve rolling up back to the centre. This time you, the left fingertips would go this way with the left, left foot. Right fingertips take over, you've got to swing. Think of your back going towards the audience first in this second. Really relaxing those hips now that we've done our side winding sequence. Again on the other side, you're tilting through that way onto a high releve. Think of that supporting hip so that you can really lean over and take risk there. We've got step, step. I'd like you to brush through first here. So you've got that floor pressure and the back of the leg working. Yeah, so you can go quite high with that leg if you want to. Finding the arms to second, folding over and then finding that supporting leg again to second, to then double bounce, to scoop this way. Long leg comes in through to fourth to then transfer the weight back. So we're really shifting our pelvis back onto that supporting leg. So then catch yourself. And if you wanna take the leg off, you can. If not, stay both legs grounded and then just lower through the center. So really trying to find that relaxation and heavy swing using your breath as well. So we'd go one, and two and three all the way round follow the, uh, use the focus four get there five curving six up seven open eight left side this time so we're going one we're coming through two you're swinging three up four you've got right side five six you're turning with the tilt seven step step leg forward Leg, double bounce, through, through back. Catch yourself, find your balance. Take your leg off if you want to. Whoop, to then drop. Yeah, okay. Five, six, seven, scooping on one, two, three. Four, get there, five, curve six, up seven, and eight, fingertips, one, two, and swing, and up, left leg, one, and two, so then three, yes, and leg, leg, and three, pull back, catch on one, good, find your balance, good, left side, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, up, seven, seven, eight, and a one, three. Good, right leg, and one, and two, suspend. Step, step, three, three, and over. Long leg, back on yourself, catch. Good, find your centre. Moving on to our next sequence, which is the adage sequence. We're starting in first position. Arms are in second. You're just taking the foot to the front 
on a plie. Again, make sure your hips are um, even, connected to the back. We're curving, so it's the top of the head that's gonna take you up over, upper back curve. You're placing that foot in front one, scooping that belly button in. You're gonna place your foot to the side, this time with a tilt. Keep those sides nice and long so that we don't get any crunching or shortening. We're still finding space too. Going to the back, but we're taking an arch with the back. Be generous with the arms, chest, an open heart towards the ceiling. To breathe, to lengthen, pulling up, finding that supporting leg. Four, you're gonna repeat one. You tilt two. We're arching three. Breathing four. We're then gonna rondage de jean one. Three first each time, floor pressure two. Three. On the fourth one, you're going to brush through. Take that leg forward on a plie. You're then bringing that leg back to a nice open retire. You're going to take it through to second. Use your fondue. Take that leg round to the back. Bring the arms to a nice diagonal. Keep the chest nice and open. Squeeze into first. You're going to do it all on the left. So you've got a curve. One. You're tilting two, you're arching three, breathing in four. Again, one, tilting two, arch on three, breathe through, and four. One de jean, one, two, three, scoop it through on a plie, four, nice long leg, back of the leg working. Bring that leg in to retire. Develope out to second, then on a fondue, take it round to the back, long toes, and then squeeze into first to finish. And then if you're ready for it, we can actually reverse this whole sequence. So you'd start in an arch, you'd go to your tilt, then you'd take a curve, repeat that. You've got your arch, tilt, curve, through. So your rond de would come through the other way, one, two, three, this time you'd go to the back on your fondue. You'll bring that leg through to retire, Develope out to second, then on a plie, bring that foot through to the front to squeeze into first, so it all reverses. Okay. Six, seven, and curve one, tilt two. Arch three and four and curve. Tilt, arch three, one, two, three, brush four in a thigh. Second, plie, squeeze and one, two, three, three, one, two, three, three, three. Finding first each time, three. Brush through, in a thigh, lengthen, long, reverse, one, two, three, push, and one, two, good, keep finding that supporting leg through first, two, three, floor pressure, four, in a thigh, leg, underneath the leg, and one, two, three, and one, two, Three. Keep lifting on that supporting leg. Brushing through to the back in a thigh. Underneath. Good. Please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for Italia Conti Virtual. Online training for the performing arts.